Hi and welcome back to The Doll Room. My name is Candy and here in The Doll Room I talk all things dolls and doll collecting. And today I want to get more dolls out of their boxes. So uh, last week I think it was I unboxed my very first three mermaids mermaids dolls. I did one from each wave and I want to do another three. So I have got three mermaids mermaids dolls. One from each of the three waves that they released and I tried to go with a the theme. Last time I did some of the pinker girls, the pink girls. How about going for the dark haired girls this time? So in mermaids wave number one we have this dark haired beauty so i've picked her and i oh my gosh i just think she's gorgeous look at her hair and she's got the stripy tail she's got the dark tail as well she looks like she has got some amazing accessories as well her hair is in braids i love dolls with hair that is braided so she is my wave one girl wave two the incredible winter wave series with the snow globe tails so i've decided to go for this girl because she's the one with dark hair in this wave and will you just look at her isn't she just completely and utterly stunning so she is a wave two girl that i'm going to unbox and then from the slumber party range the surprise wave of dolls that came out after they discontinued I don't know whether they're still available at the entertainer in the uk that's where they appeared they were all reduced down to 14 pound a doll so i managed to grab the whole line now you might say hang on candy she's not got dark hair but if you look at the five dolls in this release none of them really have got dark hair so i went for her because in the stock picture it looks the darkest of all of them but in reality it's a lot more pale turquoise so it was the best i could do with this one now this doll i've heard online that this doll has been called granny because i suppose she's got like the old-fashioned top on and she's a little bit graying a bit like myself so yeah she's got the nickname granny i love her from the stock images she was actually my favorite of this wave not so much when i got the dolls in person but i still love them i love all of these dolls i think they're incredible dolls i think it's such a shame that they have discontinued although i can't moan about that because I didn't pay them for any of them full price. I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford that price tag that was on them. So I waited till they, they were all down to 20 pound or under. A lot of these I found for 10 pounds. So I can't moan because I'm one of the reasons why this doll line didn't continue because I wasn't buying them full price. So we can't moan, can we? But I am incredibly thrilled with the dolls I do have. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to unbox the dark head mermaids mermaids. Again, I'll just point out the boxes. These two boxes are the same size, but this has the cutout. This box doesn't. This box is a lot, lot larger what we get with this box is the jacket is actually displayed separately um, which makes it look like there's more stuff in there but if you look at the first wave doll the jacket was on the doll so there's that this third wave doesn't come with the jacket so perhaps at this point they were cutting back on things like jackets the winter wave dolls however do come with this plastic sort of iceberg type piece of packaging which has little bits of makeup in there as well you can see the detailing on the clothes is as always stunning and of course this doll is the only doll that comes with the snow globe tail so the actual tails on the other ones they're molded plastic 
um, quite plain on both and it's all the ends of the tails on all of them that change colour so on the winter waves doll you can see it changes colour it goes from it's showing it like a very dark blue but in reality it's more like lilac and it turns it looks like it's going to turn to red or pink um, so that changes at the end on this doll it goes to a dark blue and a red from a very pale blue and a whitey pink and then on this fin it looks like the rest of the tail might change a little bit lighter and you get a um, pink and blue whereas it's like a pink and white at the moment so you can see that if you put the dolls in water there was always that colour play element of them. How do you say this name? I'm going to call her Cassia. Was it Casey? I don't know. I'm going to call it Cassia. You have to turn to the back of the box to see what the Winter Waves doll is called. So we're going to open nearer today and you can see here she is in the group photo. So the last doll we opened was this one. This is nearer. You can see she's wearing the jacket here. So that's what the back of the Winter Waves box looks like. It really does have some truly stunning box art. I mean, look at that. You can really see how beautiful the faces on these dolls are. And then the little cutout, you always have like this sort of focus in on the fin. So if we turn the box round on uh, Cassia, you can see here are all the slumber party dolls. So this was the one we opened Monroe last time and here she is here. You can see the short bits around the side of her face are a lot more calm than the ones on my doll. So I think she is again just a very very beautiful doll um look at that gorgeous box art and again the cutout kind of gives you that focus on the fin so that's Nera and cassia who is this this one is geordie now and um that's what her box art looks like again you've got the the cutout of course in this first wave box you actually could touch the tail um, this is the range of dolls here uh, last time we opened this one i was saying last time that i didn't have these two dolls these were the two, two dolls i was missing i've since rectified that having opened the first three dolls I thought, oh my goodness, I need them all. These are amazing dolls. I managed to get her on Amazon for £18. She was still really hard to find and expensive. On a day out last weekend in Birmingham with my eldest daughter, we popped into the huge TK Maxx in Birmingham and she was on the shelf for £17. So I couldn't believe it. So I've managed to now get all of these five all of these five and all of these five all at like from ranging from 10 pounds up to i think 19.99 was the most i paid for them which is incredible because these originally retailed at 42 and i think these were 39.99 something like that so like I, i've managed to get in some cases like four dolls for the price of one so really really good bargains i found and i've also tracked down the two bigger box sets you can see the edge of one in there which is super exciting so i have it's the first range of dolls i've ever completed and i'm just really excited to get them all open but anyway that's the backs of the boxes so we've got geordie we've got cassia and we've got nearer to open today right let's get to it we're going to start with wave one with geordie and we're going to see if like last time i realized that wave one was the hardest to open they spent so much time sellotaping and fixing them into the box 
then Nero was the second hardest. By the time we get to wave three, there are being a lot more AC on the packaging. So let's see if that pans out as well this time. Okay, so here we go with Geordie, first of all, who I think is incredibly stunning. I think she has, just from the look of her, kind of a streetwise vibe to her. I think if any of them were to be a famous rap mermaid, if that's such a thing, it would be Geordie. I just think she looks really streetwise. She looks really cool. To be honest, not that I would recognise streetwise if it walked up to me and bit me, because I'm not streetwise, but you kind of get that vibe from her. She is like the coolest chick on the block. Um, so let's open her. I absolutely love her already. So let's have a go at this. If I remember rightly from the last time I unboxed them, although I can't really remember. I can't remember my own name from one day to the next, to be honest. But I think we have to go with the sellotape first around the edges so we're going to do the cellar tape first i'm really trying to keep the box art pictures together because i just think the box art is really really stunning yeah look the cellar tape stopping that from coming out so like i said it was uh it was wave one that had i had the biggest job getting into last time um, if you look look if you start pulling the doll that way then the tail gets caught in the hole so you end up having to slice the plastic and risk completely slicing your hands apart but um yeah it is what it is i wonder if see i can't even lift her up because her tail gets in the way. Right, let's try and open this flap. I think I'm gonna pause you, I'm gonna get her out and come back. Actually, she wasn't too bad. I didn't have to cut the plastic. All you have to do, surprise, surprise, is just make sure all the sellotape is off all the way around the box. And then she slides out the other way. So I don't know what I was doing last time. It's just hard to find all the bits of sellotape. And if you look, she doesn't look as, as secured in as the last one either. The last one I opened just seemed to have tags and ties everywhere. But that's how she slid out. You can see the inner packaging. So I'm going to cut all of these tags off, which go around the back as well. And then we're going to have a look Here at Here she is. And she is completely gorgeous as you can see now i've actually popped it onto a stand they're my stands that take barbie that she just about fits on her waist is a bit smaller so she is a little little bit um a little bit unsteady shall we say what i found when i opened the last three was that wave one is absolutely the worst at standing up whether you put her tail forwards or backwards i could not get her to stand up anywhere close to standing up so she is a lot 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 more unsteady um she also has a tendency for her head to flop one side which i've seen other people comment on as well i know um krista whose channel i'll link below in fact krista's channel is already linked in my community posts she's been unboxing some of these mermaid dolls as well and she pointed out that it was toppling to one side so i think in this wave one there was an issue with how stable they were to stand up and they don't come with a stand the only wave that came with a stand is wave two which i think was a big mistake i think if they'd have come with a stand it would have got rid of that issue in in people's minds especially if you're going for a collector's market so but that aside the stability aside i've got it to stand up now and can we just all appreciate this incredible face so you've got these incredible inset eyes and then the freckles and then there's a heart painted on You've got the eyelashes, real rooted eyelashes. 
I think she's got the most gorgeous lips as well. Doesn't matter what angle you want to look at her from. She's just incredible. She comes with these sunglasses, but I'm not a great one for glasses on a doll. I think if I've bought a doll, it's because I like their face. So her jewellery, she's got sort of heart earrings and then this just plastic sort of charm necklace. Her top underneath says swim team and then it matches her skirt. The skirt is all moulded, none of this is real. And down to this moulded fin at the bottom. She's also got this fantastic padded jacket. The quality of the clothes on these dolls is really something. Of course, it's a little bit hindered by the doll stand, but you can kind of see it's two tones, so it's silver and then you've got the white sleeves with the stripes on match the yellow stripes on the tail she's got a sort of plastic bracelet um sweat bands they look like which are molded plastic which are separate to the coat you can see the coat has got proper knitted cuffs on there it is just amazing um, and yet again, as with any mermaid, one of the features is ha the hair. So I think mermaid dolls, the features should be the hair because it, it's just such a big part of that mermaid mythology, isn't it? And you can see she has got white and black tiny braids, which are so beautifully done, tied up. And there she goes. Look, you can see you only have to touch her to, for her to fall. That, that is one of the biggest downsides of this doll. But while she's off the stand, let me just show you how long her hair is. It's incredible, isn't it? And let me show you what she's like. If you try and stand her, it's just absolutely no way. And if you turn the tail back, she just it just collapses. So she definitely needs some sort of doll stand to make a stand. But oh my gosh, look at her. I can forgive it all. Right, let's get her back on the doll stand. Right, so she's back for now on the doll stand. Another thing that I noted last time I opened them was how lovely the hands are sculpted. And you can see that hand there is sculpted to hold her glasses. She also comes with this incredible bag. And again, look at the hand sculpt there. They are really nicely done. We don't have the all the nails and the jewellery on the hand for this doll like we did on some of the other wave of the dolls. Right, let's get this bag off and look at Does this it? bag open. It definitely looks like it, it opens. It's got a hinge. Um, one of the things that some of the other waves had it had real chain work as well and this doesn't have real chain work on any of the jewelry so that's different to the last wave one i opened um in fact none of the jewelry on this doll is metal there's no metal work at all it's all molded plastic so that is different so i think there is a difference in quality between the dolls themselves to be honest so this is what is inside the cage and it is it's a it's a little i don't know what would you call that giant pink pearl that goes inside this cage so i think that's brilliant you could put things in there i love that actually if you're wanting to do like charms or sea magic with this it'd be brilliant for holding little magic words of some kind i love that so I wanted to compare the two Wave 1 dolls that are already open. I said about the jewellery on this doll, it's all sort of, everything's moulded plastic. And you can see again, like there is moulded plastic jewellery and earrings on this doll. But can you see like the belt is metal and all of this work here is metal. And those are real diamante studs on her belt. So 
there are no metal pieces at all on her so I think more budget went into this doll but having said that her bag is a lot simpler and that is a molded plastic chain on the bag just like on the other bag so there were different elements there with those two wave one dolls but they're both gorgeous they're both on the wonk leaning over to that side as well both of them so I think the weight distribution and the stability of the dolls for standing up was an issue they addressed it beautifully in wave two which you'll see in a moment but of course that pushed the price up and now I feel bad for having bought them all cheaper because it that's the demise of mermaids mermaids it's getting this quality of doll at a price that we're all prepared to spend it's tricky isn't it so anyway that's nearer opened right we're going to do winter waves now okay time for nearer who i think is just one of the most stunning dolls i've ever seen i mean look at this image on the box she's just absolutely stunning uh, I love her colourway. I love the kind of deep sort of gothy purple, but with the edge of pink and pearls thrown in for good measure. The two there, that's a beautiful dichotomy of styles, sort of princess goth. I just, I love her. You can see it carries on that idea of like the kind of a punk princess with the studded earrings and she's also got look the studded bag so studs and pearls what a fabulous style combo and i can't wait to get her out of the box so let's unbox nearer now so here we go with winter waves i'm so excited to get her out of box i really am so the key is to find all the sellotape of course that's the key but it isn't necessarily as easy as that might sound although it might be easier in this box fingers crossed will she pull straight out she's caught on something where is she caught um let's just cut the sellotape down here as well she's still caught cool on something there we go look there's sellotape here it's kind of hidden sellotape to be honest so the name of this one oh my gosh this one's nearer so who was she oh my gosh i was saying the wrong name for the other one the other one that i've just opened is not nearer she was geordie oh so that first wave one it is geordie this is nearer she still won't slide out there we go look can you see what i mean there's hidden sellotape there under the flap now you can see the way that she's laid out in the box really it looks like she's got tons more and the box is bigger for it but she's just not wearing the jacket all the others come with a jacket so the only extra bit really is this and i'm saying that but that looks like there's another jacket in there so that's amazing this time you've got nail polish that will be lip gloss you've got a little mug there's a phone there's this jacket as well oh wow um, she's got a manicure this time I can say um, I love the silver wave that she's on as well but most importantly for wave two the winter waves if you can track down these dolls guys and there are still some available um, I've seen them in the shops I've seen them on eBay so keep looking if you love the idea of these it comes with look a really substantial stand can you see the m on there which is um it's really good quality and you've got you've got the hook there so you know what height they go down to which i love and then you've got different hooks at the bottom so if you break one 
you're okay there's an instruction book which i'm not going to look at because that's just to do with the color changing and my dolls are not going to go anywhere near water so i'm going to snip her out now and we are going to look at what we've got with nira wow she is just gorgeous i absolutely love the purple and the pink color combination I adore her face. Oh my gosh, look at her face. It is just so beautiful. Again, you've got like the real eyelashes, uh, but you've also got like the painted on eyelashes behind. Let me see if I can turn you, turn her sideways. Look, you can see there, it's like a double set, just to make sure she's got the painted on and she's got the real rooted. And it just gives such a beautiful effect for her face her hair these bits are quite jeweled and uh, this braid is soft i thought that would be um you know a little bit more jeweled but the hair the hair on all of these dolls is just so beautifully soft it it really is we'll see what happens when i open cassia next but look guys she's not on her stand her stand is still there these tails are a lot more substantial these dolls are heavier um she's not flopping over as much and you could get away really with sanding her on her tail i wouldn't want to put her right on the edge of a shelf just in case she toppled but um they can these do work and then of course you've got the um the snow globe effect in the tail i'm knocking all of her accessories over because her hair is so long and look you can see she's got like glitter and stars in her tail so it's just lovely um there you go see she's she just about will stand up but yeah not completely securely so i'm going to pop her on a stand and then we'll look at her accessories so on her stand she is just so secure this stand is just brilliant for them it was the way to go but of course they stopped it again in wave three which was a shame but i suppose that's a a mute point now so what i thought was another jacket it isn't another jacket it is a, a another bag it's a bag shaped like a jacket i thought it was a plastic molded jacket but no it's another bag and again you can see both of these bags come with the no metal again it's all molded plastic um but look at the detail look both sides of that is studded that one doesn't open so this one doesn't open but this one you could slide things into into the bag there um her jacket is stunning but like with the other one i'm going to save the jackets for other dolls because to be honest i, I don't really want to be messing with this outfit and her arms and stuff so the jacket is belted with a separate belt so this is actually a separate belt on velcro which again i might add to her um, and just see what it looks like without the jacket or i'll save it for a belted jacket for another doll the tiny little accessories are just incredible so she comes with a phone which has the stock image of the five dolls on there and she comes with three lots of nail polish blue yellow and purple she comes with a mascara which even has a tiny little mascara wand and she comes with a cup as well so i just think these are all just so amazing um like i said they're going to be fantastic in a doll's house and you can see like even the lids have got the m's on the top of them the attention to detail look even this painted on color on the now polish brush it is just amazing attention to detail i can't wait to put those into a doll's house got the nail polish on her all of her details here are molded on 
Um, there's lots and lots of carving in the tail, which is amazing. It makes it look like a crystal. And she's got this off the shoulder top with a studded plastic molded necklace and these incredible earrings, which I just love. And again, her hair is all the way down to the floor. She's just amazing. So it depends what bag you want to give her. I might give her that one. I'm going to save those accessories for another doll. This is her compared to the Winter Wave doll we opened last time. Uh, you can see that they both have like the plastic moulded on details this time on the skirt. They've both got the glitter tails and they both had handbags that didn't open. So... It, that was similar and they've both got hair all the way down to the ground it, just amazing amazing dolls let's do slumber party now let's open granny and now we've got cassia so she is from the slumber party range it's her eyes do you know what i i said that she wasn't my favorite anymore but she is gorgeous she's got freckles she's got really startlingly pale blue eyes i love her top it does look like something i would wear and i i love her coloring i just think she's amazing it makes me want to get my hair colored gray with crazy colors in there as well i just think she's be so beautiful so let's get cassia open now um let's see if we can do this easier let's find all the sellotape so the sellotape is not just the top sellotape we've got to remember to do the bottom sellotape but you can see immediately that um, once you get into the hang of opening these dolls it becomes so much easier you wouldn't think that these bottom sellotape would have anything to do with that look but there's that invisible sellotape that stops it from pulling out so let's get that one fingers crossed that that should just pull out now no nope, there's another one there find the sellotape guys find all the sellotape oh my gosh look how quick that was if you could see how long it took me to open up the others right first of all i want to check yeah this is quite crunchy we might have to um i might have to brush that out or even wash it so yeah really easy and like much fewer tags so no stand as you can see you've got the instructions in there which i don't need okay let's get a normal doll stand and let's snip her out oh my gosh i take it all back about her no longer being my favorite i absolutely love her there's something about this color combo with the silver gray and the blue and hello look at that face look at the eyelashes she's got huge rooted eyelashes She's got freckles, look at the freckles. Uh, and just the most beautiful, beautiful face. She's got these um, pearl earrings, don't topple up now, and like the choker. And her top, it kind of opens up to like a little bustier top underneath. It's all joined, it's not separate pieces at all now she's falling over because she's not on a stand yet but i am trying to show you things with one hand so i am knocking her but you can see that wave three they were getting there she's stable more or less without a stand way more than wave one so they were knocking back the expense of the stand which i still think is a shame but they were getting the balance and the weight distribution and the tails a lot better the tail fins that they stand on are much bigger for wave three than they are for wave one so they are more able to stand without a stand um, and then look at this hair and the hair is 
gorgeous it it wouldn't need a wash the only the only hair that isn't soft in this doll are these bangs around her face and i was going to try and brush it out but you know what i might leave it i think she looks pretty um the bag just has a slot in the front like this don't try and open it like i did to see if it would open because what i did i started to split the plastic and then i realized no the bag isn't designed to open it's just got the squidgy hole in the top of it um let's have a look at her hands the hand sculpts on these dolls are amazing i think so she's not got any nail polish on her hand this time but i still think or has she she might have a really pale pink on to match her lipstick but i think the hand sculpt is amazing i didn't touch an articulation they've got articulation here and here they've got also got chest articulation and you can bring her body forwards and back as well as her head um the tail is just all molded on plastic you've got the heart belt there to match the choker and it comes down to this color changing which by the pictures turns dark blue and red i think it was um but i think she's gorgeous i just think they're amazing dolls i know i'm raving but hey if you can't rave about dolls you've treated yourself to then it's a sad world isn't it so here are the first two slumber wave dolls unboxed both on stands now um so monroe was the first one that we unboxed and she still has by far the longest hair of all the dolls i've opened she is just a stunning doll but then look at cassia she's just got a completely different vibe which i'm loving so that's wave three um i love wave two because it's more stable on the stands i love the glitter tails i love the first pink wave one girl with the metal on but i love the slumber party dolls as well guys i think all three ranges are just incredible dolls so finally guys there they all are on the shelf all together looking absolutely splendid and gorgeous and just incredible i think i think they look amazing so the mermaid's shelf is certainly filling up that's for certain um and i'm loving it I'm, I'm really here for it so thank you guys so much for watching another three dolls be unboxed from this incredible range of dolls i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you'll join me again soon in the doll room bye